Hey everybody, welcome to Kevin's Auto Channel. I am Kevin Walters, and it is hard to believe, but I already have 15,000 miles on my 2019 Chevrolet Silverado RST Z71 with the 5.3 liter V8. So, how have these miles treated me? Well, let's talk about it. purchased this truck in June of 2019 and here it is late October 2020 and it is 15,300 miles later so so far as I've said in previous videos I have really enjoyed this truck I like the way it rides I like the power it has I like the torque um, it does really well when you have a load in the back. So, you know, so far, it's been good. There is that one complaint that I've had where, you know, the rear diff drive line, drive shaft or rear diff one, just sometimes it feels like it's going to come out of this truck completely. But since that time that it did it when my dad was in the truck and I thought I had lost my transmission when I turned around so far knock on wood it has not done it since that being said my dad as I've told you before has a 2019 Chevrolet 2500 HD with the 6.6 Duramax so totally different truck totally different engine but his rear diff is also acting up he took it into the shop the other day and complained about it they took it back in the back and they packed the universal joint where the draft shaft goes into the rear diff uh, with grease they said that's what would fix it so he had to pay like 90 bucks for them to do that I don't know why the truck's under warranty that's a different story you know for something for his truck to be a little over a year old to have about the same mileage on it that mine has on it so we're looking at about 14 15 thousand miles on his truck and for them to have to put grease in the the rear end what 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 does that say for GM in my opinion it makes them look really bad because hey you know I've got a new truck and there's a problem with one of the main components of the driveline and then for them to charge him on top of that I wasn't with him so I was I didn't get to question that uh, but he went ahead and paid anyway but for, for them to do that with a truck that's under warranty and and it to be as new as it is uh, this, he tried to get me he wanted to take my truck down to get my rear end univer or universal joint packed with grease also and I told him I said let's hang off and see if that really does fix it or not now he hasn't had that issue in a while I don't think either so I, only time's going to tell uh, but that's just that's been my major complaint with uh, my truck this whole 15,000 miles because when I first got the truck it did it a lot and as time has gone on and since it really did it bad that one the last time I don't know if it if it uh, reseated the gears in the rear diff or what but so far it has not done it since so 
we will see. Now, I plan on keeping this truck for a while, mainly because I have traded vehicles so much in the past 10 years that I have inadvertently dug myself into a negative equity hole and I have to hang on to this truck for a few years to be able to get out of it and not lose my shirt. So that's my fault. People at work joke with me and they say I have a car addiction. Um, and I, I, I do. I, I don't need to go into car lots because when I do, I get into trouble. I'm an impulse buyer. So, yeah, I, I have to be careful. But anyway, uh, so far, other than that, I really enjoy this truck. I really like this trim level, this RST. Um, I always go for the more sportier trucks. Uh, the reason I do is I like the color, um, body color bumpers and over the chrome. On older vehicles, you know, classics, 40s, 50s, 60s, chrome looks great on older sheet metal vehicles. But on modern vehicles, uh, not so much. Chrome just sort of, I don't know, on the new ones, chrome sticks out like a sore thumb in a way. Unless you do a complete chrome package to where more than just the bumpers and maybe the wheels are polished, chrome, it just doesn't look right. So I always go for the sportier trim levels. Uh, an LTZ or a high country would have been nice, but I mean, the RST is comfortably equipped. You get all of the nice amenities. You've got the heated seats. You've got the dual climate control. Uh, got the leather package in this truck. Uh, the convenience package too, which gives me the center console. Nice uh, eight inch infotainment center, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It's just, it's very nicely equipped to be a uh, mid level trim. And so, you know, I don't have any complaints about that. Now, that being said, would I buy another Silverado? Probably not. Now, don't get me wrong. Silverado is one of the best looking trucks on the road today. Uh, GMC Sierras also. They are beautiful, beautiful trucks. But... I don't know, just my experience that I've had with GM, this is my first GM vehicle. And the experience that I've had so far with it, um, with the recall, all the recalls, and I know most modern day vehicles today, trucks, cars, they do have recalls on them because there's so much technology and so many electronics on vehicles today. But still, you know, it's just, my experience with this truck has just put a bad taste in my mouth for GM. And I've had many people comment on my videos that they're having the same exact problems that I'm having with their trucks. So that doesn't make matters any better for me. I understand that there are some bad units. They're called lemons. Now, I would not consider this truck a lemon. I just... I chalk it up to poor quality control and they're making mistakes on the line manufacturing these trucks and don't think GMC is better than Chevrolet because if you watch a video on GMC and Chevrolet truck production they're both going down the the line at the same time they usually stagger them you have a, a Silverado and a Sierra all the way down the line back to back and they're just putting different bumpers grills and uh, tailgates on the different trucks on the GMC and the Chevrolet that's it you know basically the interior is the same um, I've always heard 
GMC has a little bit better suspension on it, but it's probably more equal today, but still, they're making mistakes on the line. Now, last week, I watched production videos of Dodge, Chevrolet, and Ford trucks. The thing I liked about Ford production was as they find faults with vehicles on the lines, they pull that truck aside and figure out what's going on and fix it. That's the way quality control is supposed to work when you're manufacturing brand new vehicles. Don't overlook it and ship it to the dealership and let it be the customer's problem. If you find a intolerance on a vehicle while it's on the line being built, pull that vehicle or stop the line and figure out what's going on so you don't end up with hundreds or thousands of units with defects in them that result in recalls. Fix it when you find it while it's being made. To me it's simple, but some corporations value profit and money over quality. It's all about quantity and not about quality. And that's sad. And I chalk that up to American greed. Americans have become very greedy and we all want to do good in life. We all want to have a great living. But when it comes to providing a service or a product to a customer, I would think you would value your name more than you would how many units you get off the line that day. But that's just me. I'm just thinking out loud. 15,000, over 15,000 miles later, with my 2019 Silverado RST Z71 with the 5.3 liter V8. Like I said, I really enjoy this truck, uh, but I probably, if I had it to do it over again and I knew what I know now, I would have gone back to an F-150 or 250, but <clears throat> I can't rewind time and go back and redo it. So it is what it is. I made my choice and now I've got to live with it. So if you have a 2019, 2020 or any late later model Chevrolet or GMC, I hope that you are not having the same problems that I've had. If you have, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know and let me know if you would buy another Chevrolet. I've had people comment on videos below. They buy Toyota. Uh, some people buy Ford. You know, it's, it's just whatever you prefer. I've always preferred Ford, but I wanted to try something different just to give it a chance. And well, like I said, I'd go back to Ford. But anyway, I'm just rambling, riding around in my truck, passing some time away. If you haven't already, please check out the Facebook Kevin's Auto Channel and Instagram page Kevin's Auto Channel. Check them out, give them a like, and, uh, and see what's going on there. Don't forget that the uh, Craftsman Mechanics Tool Set giveaway is still going on. It is still live. As soon as I reach 1,000 subscribers, I will be randomly drawing a name to see who wins that very nice Craftsman Mechanics tool set. So, I'm Kevin Walters. You've been watching Kevin's Auto Channel. Be safe out there on the roads. 2020 is coming to a close. Before we know it, it will be Christmas season. So, hopefully 2021 will be better. <laughs> we'll find out, won't we? But anyway, I will see you in the next video. And I hope you have a great day today. See ya.